Hey guys, I'm LP, and it seems we have no intro video today. Hmm, well that's disappointing. We also have no name for the person who requested this, because it's an anonymous request for this map, Bifurcation A, by Hopper and Gigopler. The puzzle is by Gigopler, and it's been hammerized by Hopper. Difficulty... I don't know, don't know what that means. What the he Excuse me, what?! What is happening to my cursor right now? <laughs> Do you... Okay, you can't see this, but... Okay, on OBS it just says how for my cursor, but on my screen I see some distorted coloration glitchy stuff to the right of the question mark. This is, a. Uh... I'm gonna take a screenshot of that. That's, uh, hmm. I think I should restart my computer. Anyway, <laughs> ConClan says the Q out of response 11 out of 10. I don't know if that's cynical or not. Okay, I'm really distracted by what happened when they cursor there. I've never seen that before. That is bizarre. That was odd. I love... I love this aesthetic of being, like, outside, floating in the air, like... Like, Batcat does this a lot. A lot of Batcat's maps are like this. If you don't know who Batcat is, go play their maps. They're good maps. Not necessarily good puzzles, but good maps. And this reminds me very much of Batcat and Quentin. It's like, it's like a combination of Batcat, Quentin, and somebody else. Very nice. Right, so, up here we have a button which drops the auto-responding cube, I'm assuming. This button deactivates both scissors. Gotcha. Hmm. And we have a light bridge involved. Oh, well, that's interesting. We take the cube and put it on the button. What happens? Just the light bridge and then... Can't do anything with it, just yet. I'm sure we can easily solve that problem in a variety of ways. Uh, I think first of all we might want to get the cube into here, right? we do that? I think we have to, like, funnel it a certain direction. I think we have to funnel it into here, and then put the portal over there to funnel it to here. Something like that. Something like that. Actually, I think if we just do this, it'll work out on its own, right? Oops. Wait, what? How did it not... What? How did it not come into this one? Huh? Well, that's lame. I don't know why that happened. Yeah, we definitely need the light bridge to cross over this. Oh, let's try this again, because clearly I did something wrong. Cube on button. Actually, it doesn't even need to be on the button, does it? Uh... Hmm. Yeah, it doesn't really need to be on the button, does it? Pick up the cube. I move over here and do this. Okay, no, definitely, definitely need to put this on the button. In that case, I could put the cube over there, I guess. How will that help, though? Hmm. Ah, crap! I had this, I had this done already, and I didn't even realize it. Yeah, I overcomplicated that. I definitely overcomplicated that. Forget the whole glitch with it passing through the funnel like that. I don't know why that happens, but we can just put it here in advance. Uh, excuse me, stop. Thank you. Just put it there. And ta-da, normal, normal person. I am a normal person, you cannot confirm otherwise. There we go. Right, so now... Something or other... We need to get the cube back onto that button somehow. I think what we want to do... I think what we want to do... Is just auto-respawn the cube, right? So we have a portal on that side. We can funnel ourselves over to the light bridge. Yeah, I think we're done now. Yeah, alright. Thank you. Let's get the cube now. Uh, I'll put that over there, doesn't really matter. Our portals are backwards. Don't care. All we need is the light bridge. And we are good to go. I like that. 
Nice simple puzzle. Alright, well guys, as always, thank you so much for watching. I really, ooh, appreciate it. I'll see you all in another- what, what, what? What? Okay, well anyway. <laughs> Goodbye! <laughs>